Right? Oh. Guys, guys. Oh, you know what? It's time. You want to know a little about me? It's time for me to start having kids. <laughs> I've decided this was the age I was going to do it. I was just, if I don't seem jazzed, it's because I was hoping I was going to be super rich by this age. Because that's what I wanted to do before I had kids, get super rich. That's, if you're going to have kids, be super rich. It's so fun. At my tax bracket right now, I'd probably be expected to help raise this child. That's not what I was hoping for. Like, I'd have to be there for it. I'd have to chip in. Have you seen people who are super rich with kids? Oh, royal family, Hollywood actors. Oh my God, having a kid's not like having a kid. It's like having a boat. <laughs> I don't wanna do it, but I'm ready to nurture something. So if you're ready to nurture something like I am and you don't have kids that need to nurture Mrs. Children, and in my case, land squarely on four dogs that don't wanna get dressed up for Halloween. <laughs> But what choice do they have? I'm sorry, coconut. I don't care if you don't want to be a frog. I need something out of my life right now. Just wasting my whole life, please. I'm not even intimidated by people raising kids anymore. I'm ready for the challenges. I can pour two bowls of cereal. I don't give a shit. I have four dogs, four rescue dogs. Yeah, woo to me, the hero. Four of them. I, got, I didn't even get the good, I got them from the SPCA and not even the good ones. I got the ones they couldn't sell, so they gave them to us for free. I get my dogs from the as is section of the SPCA. I have four dogs, between them have seven eyes and only five of those work. There's a little <laughs> riddle for you on the way home. I wonder which one had the working eyes. Doesn't matter. It doesn't even look like a rescue situation. It looks like a bunch of broken toys that have come back to life through some sort of voodoo spell and have some sort of unfinished business in the house. That's what I'm raising. That's why when you have to get up in the middle of the night with your kid, so, to get up with the baby again, yeah. And did you get to stay inside the whole time? <laughs> then try having a dog, okay? To take these out to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night in the snow and there's no time. So I have to go up in my underwear, stand in the yard shivering while a Shih Tzu audits the whole yard for the perfect piece of snow to take a dump on. <laughs> Why is that snow better than that snow? Just go to the bathroom. And then I have to run out and scoop up the dog, but I do it so quickly and in one motion in my underwear that to a neighbor who's awake at three in the morning, it would just look like I forgot I don't have a hot tub anymore. I just, I'm like out like this and I'm like, oh shit, I sold that, sold it, sold the hot tub. So I'm ready to have kids and join the human race instead of trying to shoehorn my lifestyle into people holidays like Halloween. We try. Why? Why do you dress up your dog for Halloween? <laughs> Halloween's not for dog people, okay? The whole holiday is based on chocolate and strangers knocking on your door. <laughs> Those are dogs two sworn enemies. You can't <laughs> celebrate that holiday. Might as well throw in fireworks and squirrels running around outside a window. <laughs> Give up, wait till November 1st, and then wait to be disappointed again for Christmas. Because Christmas with the dog, equally disappointing. We do all the things. They have stockings. All the four dogs have stockings. Do we fill them with anything? No. They would just as soon eat the stocking. We would just go through the motions. Our dogs get their picture taken with Santa Claus every year. Why? And they have a special Santa Claus just for that. My psychosis has spread to so many other people. They have a dog only Santa Claus. They found a man who loves the Christmas spirit and wants to celebrate it, but he can't be around children. <laughs> Like there's the mall Santa and then there's this guy, which means now the mall Santa is the job you can be promoted to. That's what dog Santa has done for that guy. That's mall Santa, be, go to mall Santa, that's way better. At least we know who we're lying to. You and Santa are lying to the kid, but who are you lying to with the dog? Yourself. <laughs> this dog can't tell Santa Claus what he wants. All he wants to do is bite a stranger in a weird beard. That's all he wants for Christmas. And we go and we're there and my girlfriend wants us to dress up and get in the photo. 
She wants us to wear, she got us sweaters that have pictures of pugs on them. And I was like, we can't, you can't do that. You can't wear a pug shirt if you have a pug. I can't explain the science, but the intensity just peaks too much. It's the same with pugs. It's the same with like a Porsche. A Porsche t-shirt, very cool. A Porsche, amazingly cool. But if you see a guy get out of his Porsche and he's wearing a Porsche t-shirt, you're like, relax, buddy. We get it. Find a second hobby. So you take, we tie our dogs to Santa Claus because they can't sit on a single knee, so you tie them to Santa Claus like you're locking up a bike and then they take a thousand photos. It's, it's go to the mall, have a kid, take them. The mall one's never as chaotic because there's not one kid who's trying to bite the other kids. I've had dog lover friends who are like, I'd rather be dog Santa. Why? Be mall Santa. You might get peed on by the occasional kid but the next kid's not gonna pee on you because he smells the previous child's urine. <laughs> Just have a kid, try and help the human race is all I'm saying. People think I'm great for helping animals, but they don't realize how much I'm neglecting human beings. You know, we got, me and my girlfriend got each other for Christmas, we, you know, we didn't want to get gifts, so we're like, let's sponsor it, let's do a charity thing, let's be charitable. I left her in charge of that. And what did we get? She sponsored an owl on our behalf. She sponsored an owl. <laughs> it's exactly like sponsoring a starving child, except you don't feed a starving child. That's the one big, we chose owls. I didn't even know they needed money. And we, they sent a picture of the owl. I was like, I don't care what it looks like. I can figure it out without the photo. Is it brown or white? Brown, I got it. I don't need the photo. What you should send me is a photo of the child we're not helping. Just to remind me, they should send you a picture of the owl. This is Zeus, he's a Sawat owl. This is Miguel, he's a human being who needed you and you failed. We sponsored an owl. And I know what you're thinking, what a ripoff. You probably didn't even get to meet that owl. I got a surprise for you. Yes, I did. The owl sanctuary had an open house where you can go meet the owl face to face and say all the things you can't say in a letter. I don't know why they let you in, but I can tell you this about that owl that we sponsored. It was as excited to see me as I was to see it. That's all I can say about the experience. We both had the same look on our face, just this. You know, cause it was an owl and I was like, this is my Christmas present. My name is Graham Jen, and thank you so much for coming out. Enjoy the rest of your show.